he's known about James's life before the Revolutionary War. What was James's accurate information about British troops are the Continental Army defeated the British at Yorktown. <laughs> I love that. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Welcome back to the channel. It's Serena from the Falco family where we make videos about education and lifestyle. They were incredibly quiet until I turned this camera on. Just so you know. Anyway, my child did not charge his iPad last night, which means that conveniently <laughs> he doesn't have to do some of the things that is not his favorite thing to do just yet. This morning, friends, I am going to be working my way through um my bookshelf i think i have been uh developing this system of cataloging our books on notion i just started using notion not too long ago and i really really like it i think it helps me simplify my brain a bit more because i think of things in terms of databases so i'll keep using it and um yeah the more comfortable I get, a little bit further down the road, I will share uh, what we use it for, how we use it, and all that jazz. But one of the things I'll tell you now um, that I'm using it for is to create a catalog or a database of the books in our library, the books we read, the books we check out, all of that type of stuff. So a year or so ago, we started doing this book challenge. We did a 400 book challenge um as curriculum and i am still trying to catch up from that <laughs> like i was not prepared for how much they would jump into that or we would all jump into that together and i definitely did not track everything as i might have wanted to so i'm gonna try to remedy that um catch up with some of the things that i needed to keep account of from that last challenge and then move into this new year's challenge more than likely we're probably going to set the same type of challenge for ourselves which is 400 books um but uh it kind of all starts with it, it's just a combination of a lot of picture books that we read the book stacks that we choose each week and then also like just our um seven day what we call bingo book challenge reads and then um, anything we choose to read in addition to that so i am going to start things off by logging uh what we've read in january thus far um i think i'm going to be doing update videos because i really would like to you know get to the end of this year and be able to see a whole like account of each uh month's progress as far as reading writing and our filmmaking life is concerned um, so I'm really kind of leaning towards that and excited about it. Um, and I'm just going to start things off with like our reading update, I think. So we'll see how that goes when I get filmed and I will keep you posted. But right now that's what I'm doing. And we'll give you a little sneak peek of what we have read so far in January, which is kind of like I love. And this is not even all of them. So I'll show you that. That's what we have so far for what we've read in January. I feel really good about that, y'all. <laughs> So anyway, I said I wasn't going to go in too much detail about how I'm cataloging them, but I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> I'm kind of extra about it. I think one thing I have come across in um, just kind of exploring books and stories as a family is that there's a lot of reviews about there, but I don't feel like reviews haven't been incredibly helpful um, to me uh, like I've said so many times before reading is such a personal thing it's an individual thing it has so much to do with each 
individual um, in each individual family and how you like to read and what types of things you like to read and what types of things you're looking for and what you're looking for to help you teach certain things and expose to certain things and so um, I'm not a big fan of general recommendations because I feel like I need to know more <laughs> like <laughs> I need to know more like what is it you're looking for what is it you're trying to gain um, what kind of mood are we in you know I'm not a big fan of categorizing books by grade level or reading level um, we're all about just kind of making it fit whether it's an independent read a read aloud a buddy read just uh, a book club read so anyway which that is another thing that is on our list of goals for our gap year or this year um, is to start a book club somehow so I'm still kind of toying with that because y'all know that you know there's no shortage of ideas around here it's just how do we want to execute these ideas what's going to make the most sense for us what's going to bring us the most rest and the um yeah the I don't know just always considering all of those things anyway um I'm going to drink this coffee I always drink my coffee with a full glass of ice water do you guys I've got my Narnia playing in the background because we play that every day <laughs> I'm in full on birthday planning mode. I've already talked about this a little bit before, so that's like at the forefront of my mind. So I'm um, very excited about that. This is coming off of the tail end of celebrating Kendall's birthday, which is the 2nd of January. So it's always like right, right after New Year. <laughs> like, it's just the next best thing we get to start our year off celebrating. Um, he just turned 11 years old. My Kendall Bear is a whole 11 years old. He is such a gem and um, I really enjoy writing him letters each year to just let him know how much um, he means to us, how special he is, um, and just kind of like highlighting his gifts and his strengths and how he's worked on things, you know, in his weaker areas. I just, I just really love being their mom. One of the goals that I set with Kendall was um, to learn three languages together by his 18th birthday. So we're starting things off with Spanish, which got me thinking about starting something new in general, you know, going into this year, um, you know, working our way through our gap year, just, all of that stuff so I decided to do a little update to our how to start um, blog post because that's kind of what I was thinking about so um, I will have that updated I just share some of my thoughts and feelings about how to start homeschool and basically anything in um, a purposeful intentional family life so um, another big thing for us I know I shared about this also in the last video about how I'm really just kind of meditating on um, wellness this year on New Year's Day we went around and chose a word that we really wanted to focus in on for each of us um, and my word I will share I will celebrate I just feel like I am always in such a mode of like I have an idea let's work on it let's work on it let's work on it <laughs> You know, so I have all these rotating ideas that are just being worked on little bit by little bit. Um, but I don't celebrate uh, like I would like to. And I think one of the people that is big on just wanting me to like really take that on this year is my baby girl Savannah. She is just... Okay. Hi. It's like joy in a bottle. She's like celebration in a bottle. <laughs> so we have been working our way through rebuilding um, our homeschool life and business and all that stuff, which um, I'll share more and more just each and every day. But uh, we have three branches of business that we have been focused on mostly and each of them kind of uh, champions each division. And Savannah, of course, is all things fall coat family she is the essence of who we are and she really just has encouraged me to just focus in on celebrating this year to not be so fixated on the goals that i don't just celebrate the smallest of things so your girl is over here trying to be all celebratory all the time okay so i'm really pretty decent like i'm pretty good with celebrating the kids um but i think in general i need to learn how to celebrate as a whole and celebrate you know just everyday 
things um, for myself, for Brian, for just just really like embodying all that it is and the joy that it is to celebrate. Um, so yeah, started things off with birthdays, of course, but we want to celebrate like the tiny things too, you know. Um, so I'm really trying to work on that. So <laughs> hold me to it. If you guys see me share or talk about things that I am just kind of like glossing over and making light of when I should be just making a big deal about it, like that's really what I'm trying to work on because all, all of the small things are just so precious in life. And so I'm really trying to focus in on um, celebrating more of those things. So we are learning Spanish with my boo celebrated my baby turning 11 at the beginning at the top of the year now i'm getting ready to celebrate um having a teenager in a few weeks and that's exciting um we're going to celebrate working our way through all these book stacks and uh hopefully just be able to share and do this whole reading writing filmmaking thing with all of our friends so savannah what you got <laughs> so y'all this girl I don't know. she I'm just finished reading one reading crazy summer but we don't have the second book and she is really struggling to find another book off the shelves <laughs> she doesn't want to read the ebook this time oh so, yeah she was struggling because we don't have the second book second book and she didn't really want to pick anything off of our shelves so i told her we could go to the library but she just couldn't wait <laughs> okay y'all can we just talk about my husband for a second and how he made me lunch today <laughs> okay so i'm in here trying to work through the kids binders and he bought me lunch so i'm about to eat this and it looks so good i'm back in my spot again y'all i'm gonna eat my lunch um i have a few uh printables to print out for the kids i think i might actually get some time to read today i really loving reading books written in verse so I do have a stack of books that we have read in verse that I will set aside um, to share when I have time but this is probably what I'm gonna read while I eat my lunch. I did actually move my bookshelf. However, I am going to remove the books off of here. I think I'm, I'm gonna go with it. I think I like it right there. It's just that um, I'm going to remove the books and put more kitcheny things in here. I'll probably put like cookbooks and things up there and then also like our tea set and I don't know. Chime in friends, what else can I put here that makes sense since I don't really have any space for a, what is it called? What is that thing called you put? What is what is that piece of furniture that you put in a in a dining room, friends? Anyway, my lunch looks so good. I'm gonna eat my lunch and read my book, print out printables. Also, it's super helpful when I get really into the story, but I have to move on and do like domestic mom things that I can generally, usually I can grab the audiobook so I can kind of like still read along to help me inch forward a little bit further. I'm racking up all the tips for reading while you're being a whole like homeschool, business, mom, life, whatever you wanna call it, friends. Eat juice. Y'all, the salad is so good. Sweet Savannah, it's called funny. God, God, Mr. Creator. George Washington. Card. Called God, Mr. Creator. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so Savannah's getting her second source for her research this is for notes. This facts too, right? See? What about when she was young? Woo! What'd you say? What about when she was younger? Ooh, you'd have to find more pictures of her when she was younger then. Yeah. 
That's how. Do you oh. have three sources? I oh. My, I took my iPad yeah. version of trust and most of my stuff now. Exactly like it does in the book. Your smile looks exactly like it does in the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Look. It does. Who is that? That is President Tell Jimmy me. Carter. President Jimmy Carter. Yes, Jimmy Carter. <laughs> my sweet thing. That's her. And that's her. Do you oh! Have with her? Them! Look! Okay. This is them. Oh my goodness. I see. <laughs> Come on. We're going to put this up. You could include different things that you've learned about her. Yes. And different things that you've written and different things that you found. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today. Remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal, as always, is to live and to learn. See you in the next one. Bye. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe.